Hey all, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today I'm going to show you how to create this cool frosty card. We'll be using the snowflake topper from our holiday topper cutups. It's the perfect width to use along with our big holiday word set. There are so many great words in this set, but since I want to do a snowman, I think I want to use frosty. I want to make sure that the die doesn't shift at all when it goes through the die cut machine. So I'll use low tack tape to hold it in place. Now I'll just run it through. Looks good. Just poke out the little bits and you have a great topper, or in this case, a bottomer. For this next part, for the extra precision, I'm going to be using my Misty. I'll just place a stamp exactly where I want it on the paper and then press the top down to attach the stamp. And you can see I had a little ink on the stamp, but it's not going to make any difference since I'll be stamping in the same place. I'm using VersaFine Crimson Red and since it's a hybrid ink, it has a little bit of open time for me to add some clear embossing powder. Now for the snowman. I'm going to be using the snowman from the snowman accessory stamp kit. <laughs> Don't ask me where I come up with these names. I'll be coloring with alcohol markers, so I'll use Marvy Black ink for the snowman. He looks good right there. And the North Pole sign. One here, maybe a little bit more balanced there. Oh heck, let's try it there. Now let's color them up. I'll be using warm gray markers for this card, 10%. Start. And 20%. And then 30%. I don't need much because it's a snowman. Now for the hat, I'm going to start with 70%. And I'll just feather a little highlight in. Here my cat mocha. She likes it. Now a little 80%, and then just a wee bit of black for definition. And now some reds for the nose. Now I'm going to be using washi tape in this card, specifically in this scarf. So I'm going to cut off some of this excess paper and reuse it. So I'm trimming what I can off with a paper trimmer for a sharp edge, and I'm going to fussy cut the rest. Yes, you heard it. That was Mocha stepping in my coffee cup and out. I think someone needs a little bit of attention, don't you? Now for the scarf. Put some washi tape down, and I'll stamp the snowman with VersaFine Onyx Black on it, and I'll let it dry. In the meantime, we can finish coloring the snowman and the North Pole.
I fussy cut the scarf along the black lines and I'm attaching the whole thing to the top of the snowman. Now let's add a little sparkle. I'm using this glitter called Martini and it looks a lot like snow with just a touch of sparkle. So we'll add some to the top of the pole and to the snowflakes at the bottom. Now for the rest of the card, take a three and three quarters by five inch piece of cardstock and emboss it using the striped embossing folder. I have a ton of folders, but I always come back to this one. Kind of looks like candy. The base of the card is four and a quarter by 11 inches folded in half. I'll be pulling out the washi tape for the edges. Just line up the washi tape to the edges and tear. Now the thing about washi tape is that it's transparent. So the wear so where the washi tape overlaps, it looks a little messy to me. So you can kind of still see it. So I'll just miter the corners with my craft knife and a straight edge. Now the part that's the top layer of the washi tape is easy to remove. It's the bottom layer that's a little harder to remove and you just take more time with it. Just lift it up, the part that's overlapping, and pull off the part that's underneath. That looks much better, don't you think? Now some foam tape for the back of the embossed panel. This foam tape makes everything look a little bit more special. Some in the middle. Center it as best as I can on top of the washi tape. And now for the frosty panel, more foam tape. And for the back of the snowman. Where to put it? This is good. Right there. Now I think I'm going to finish off with some rhinestones. Because they're handy. You could use sequins if you like. more. I think that's good. I love how modern this looks with the big holiday word and it was easy. I hope you give it a try. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.